my name is Linda Kenyita and I am on a journey, a journey of discovering breeders and kennels that we have available in the country. And today I am in Kajiado County, Kitengela, visiting Nutnet Drift Kennels, where we will meet a dog breeder and a kennel owner and he will tell us his journey of breeding dogs. Welcome to Kenya Dog TV, well, the best documentary channel in the country for all dog lovers. Hi Linda. Hi. Welcome to Nutnet Drift Kennel where we breed and train security and protection dogs. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Hi. you. So this is where everything happens. Okay. We are going to see the dogs we have. Mm -hmm. So Karibu Sana. Asante, Asante. You have a lovely homestead. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is Nutnet Drift Kennel mm -hmm. where we are passionate about dogs mm -hmm. and today we are going to see most of the dogs we have. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Rottweilers, German mm -hmm. Shepherd, Bobel. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Introduce yourself and introduce your kennel. Hey, my name is David Babu mm -hmm. of Nutnet Rift Kennel, mm -hmm. uh, Kajiado County, Kitengela. How long have you been running your kennel? Uh, I've been running my kennel since, since 2015, mm -hmm. but uh, initially I was just keeping dogs as a, for the love of dogs, mm -hmm. but uh, breeding I started. Uh, uh, in 2017 even before I started breeding mm -hmm. I always had dogs so currently are you doing it as a business or is, is it still a hobby uh, currently I'm doing it as a hobby mm -hmm. and uh, as well as a business because eh? mm -hmm. uh, uh, when I when I was doing it as a hobby mm -hmm. uh, one of my German Shepherd got puppies and when and by then, because I wasn't so much keen on breeding, the first uh, litter I gave it out, mm -hmm. but now I decided uh, I won't give uh, give out any more puppies, so mm -hmm. I decided now to breed, uh, to do dog breeding, mm -hmm. yes. So I've noticed that um, you do more of guard dogs, why guard dogs? Ah, uh, you see we are in, uh, in this era where everybody wants a guard dog, and uh, being a in a place where developments are coming up, mm -hmm. uh, I saw a need for people need uh, dogs for security mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. our homes are scattered all over. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's how I decided now to keep protection dogs mm -hmm. because they are in more demand than pets. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you train the dogs yourself? Yes, I do. I do train my dogs, mm -hmm. and uh, I also train for my customers. Mm -hmm on request mm -hmm. yeah so what challenges have you faced so far when it comes to dogs and running a there are so many challenges eh? uh, when i started uh, breeding dogs the main 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 challenge was feeding them because mm -hmm. i had so many dogs and mm -hmm. i didn't have reliable places to get uh, food for my dogs i used to, to mostly rely on uh, uh, food from supermarkets mm -hmm. which ended up being so expensive especially when my kennel grew. Mm -hmm. Another challenge we have in the kennel mm -hmm. it's when the dogs are attacked by any kind of disease and especially parvovirus. Mm -hmm. Before I knew what parvo was eh, mm -hmm. I lost so many dogs. I lost, uh, I remember I lost a litter of 10. Oh. 10. 
those were f- uh, ten uh, shepherds, mm-hmm. and I also lost uh, a few rottweilers. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I engaged a veterinary mm-hmm. who advised me on mm-hmm. how to take care of dogs, mm-hmm. and currently I don't think that's a major challenge. We do vaccination for all our dogs mm-hmm. uh, from three weeks onward, mm-hmm. and we never miss any vaccine vaccination. Mm-hmm. Yes. The other thing, I can see mm. that these dogs, they are clean, yes. very clean dogs. How yes. do you maintain their hygiene? Uh, you don't eat my shoe. This is how we maintain our, uh, the, do- uh, the dog's hygiene. Eh? Mm-hmm. Every morning mm-hmm. at 5 a.m., mm-hmm. I have to clean my kennel. Mm-hmm. And uh, after cleaning my kennel, uh, three times a week, I clean the dogs. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's how we maintain the cleanliness of our dogs. Mm-hmm. Yes. We are going to clean the kennel. Mm-hmm. So you talked about food and the challenges uh, as being one of the challenges. So what is the di- what does the diet the normal diet of a dog look? Okay, we normally feed our dogs on uh, chicken chicken heads, mm-hmm. chicken feet mm-hmm. and uh, one day old chicks. Mm-hmm. And we also feed them with rice. We mix mm-hmm. we, we cook it with rice. Mm-hmm. And at times for the puppies, the very little puppies there, mm-hmm. we use a, a product which we buy from the supermarket mm-hmm. for the young puppies when we are introducing them to feeding. Mm-hmm. Yes. So mm-hmm. this is where we store our food, mm-hmm. our dog food. This is our freezer. Mm-hmm. These are samples you see they are frozen. Every morning before we cook for them, we defrost them. So today we are going to cook these two bags. This is how we cook our dog food, uh, chicken, and uh, we mix with rice, but this is all chicken. We don't feed our dogs with rice all the time. Mostly it's chicken, sometimes beef, and lamb, but today we are feeding them on chicken, then tomorrow chicken and rice. So today it's just plain chicken? Yeah, today it's plain chicken. Yeah. As you can see, and we make sure that our chicken is 
well cooked. Yeah. Those ones I feed them twice a day, okay. and that's what I'm preparing for right now. I'm preparing their meal, mm -hmm. and today it's chicken, chicken, day. chicken oh day. chicken, yes, chicken without rice. Eh? Okay. So that's what I'm doing. And, and each puppy, I feed each uh, each puppy separately. And uh, how many dogs do you have currently? I have thirteen dogs at the moment. Thirteen dogs. Yes. How many breeds? Three breeds. I have a German Shepherd, mm -hmm. a Rottweilers. Mm -hmm. And Bobby. And Bobby. Yes. Mm -hmm. I used to have uh, American pit bull, mm -hmm. uh, the Japanese pits, mm -hmm. and uh, Shepherd and Rottweilers. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to do away with the American pit bull. Eh? Mm -hmm. It turned to be very aggressive, mm -hmm. and especially on my dogs. Mm -hmm. And I remember there is a time it killed my Rottweilers, um. two Rottweilers, two male Rottweilers. Mm -hmm. So I felt so bad, I had to give it away. You're training your dogs to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your kids? How, how do the dogs relate with your children? Actually, I don't... Uh, let me correct you. I don't train my dogs to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. I train my dogs to be... guarding dogs. To be guarding dogs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, training a dog to be a guard dog mm -hmm. to needs a little bit of aggression. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we agitate them to be... Uh, just to make them have the confidence mm -hmm. yes okay. yes and uh, uh, relating with my kids mm -hmm. I, I have a daughter who really loved dogs mm -hmm. and uh, you see the way you see my dogs are very aggressive mm -hmm. I'll tell you they love my daughter to death okay. so it's just the way you socialize them mm -hmm. because I train them to be not that aggressive okay. yes. now I have a question yes I come as a buyer mm -hmm. and I want to get a guard dog mm -hmm. yes would your dogs how, how how would be the transition from the kennel to a new home uh, what we do it, it depends with the client eh? mm -hmm. if you are a first time client mm -hmm. i'll advise you to get a little puppy but if you are experienced mm -hmm. you can even get the most aggressive dog as long as you know how to handle it mm -hmm. because i believe dogs are very good and uh, as they say that uh, dogs are uh, human beings best friends mm -hmm. I'm a man's best friend mm -hmm. if you socialize them well and you treat them well mm -hmm. they become your best friends mm -hmm. okay. actually very royal mm -hmm. okay. yes especially to the person who takes care of them Now we are going to feed the puppies. Uh, yes.
Feeding them, I give them fresh water. Yeah. So this will be enough. Bon. So we can take the bowls. When it comes to training the dogs, do you do it yourself? Yes, we do training. Uh, I do training, mm -hmm. especially on protection mm -hmm. and guard work. Mm -hmm. And uh, mostly we do it here. Mm -hmm. And we, tr we do uh, more for our dogs mm -hmm. and for our, uh, for our customers mm -hmm. on demand. Mm -hmm. on, uh, when they ask for training, we do, we do it. So let me ask you a question. Yes, like, um, since this is a hobby that you picked up, and then along the way you made it a business, uh -huh. did you have to train yourself, or did you have to take any kind of training for you to be able to train the dogs? Yes, mm -hmm. through YouTube University. <laughs> so oh, I think uh, I'm well groomed for any for taking care of dogs. But that's because you have the passion for it. Yes, I have the passion. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And that's why I said before I started doing breeding, mm -hmm. I started it, started it as a hobby. Yeah. Because since uh, ever since I was a young boy, mm -hmm. I used to keep dogs, mm -hmm. the local dogs. Mm -hmm. Yes. So le le let's talk about the, the breeds you have. Yes. Why, why, why the breeds you have? Uh, why the boars, why the long coat, why the rotwheelers, I've seen you have a couple of rotwheelers, yes. why? I, uh, I used to have uh, even the small dogs, mm -hmm. I used to have Japanese pits mm -hmm. and uh, a chihuahua, but currently you saw I have big dogs, mm -hmm. German Shepherd, Boar Bear and Rotwheelers, mm -hmm. and I used to have American Pitbull. Mm -hmm. Uh, why do I keep these dogs? Mm -hmm. Because eh, mm -hmm. I do breed mostly for security work. So far, how is the business side of keeping a kennel taking off? I can't complain, eh? mm -hmm. though quite sometimes it's a challenge, especially when you have so many puppies and uh, the market is not uh, readily available. Mm -hmm. But uh, as time goes by, mm -hmm. we uh, we get more and more clients through mm -hmm. mostly through referrals. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would you tell somebody who thinks um, they have a passion for dogs, who think that maybe they would want to go into breeding dogs? Go for it. Mm -hmm. I'd say for those people who don't have a, a job mm -hmm. and you have a passion for dogs, mm -hmm. you can go for it. But one thing I'll advise people, mm -hmm. don't keep dogs just because you want to do it as a business. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it can discourage you. Mm -hmm. And at times, if you do it first of all for the love of dogs, mm -hmm. it is the best thing to it do. Is the best because thing. Mm -hmm. if you keep money first, mm -hmm. you will be discouraged along the way because there are so many challenges. Sometimes you get puppies mm -hmm. and they get sick. You don't even know why they are sick. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they just pass all mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. So if you do it uh, just for business, you might give up along the way. Mm -hmm. But if you do it first of all for the love of dogs and as a passion mm -hmm. and do it well, 
I think it's a good business. So this is a bite suit. Mm -hmm. We use it to train our dogs mm -hmm. in bite work. Mm -hmm. Yes, when we are doing security training. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right now I'm the intruder. Yes. Okay, and the dog is going to attack you. I'm going to bring my dog. Okay. Yeah, the, so the dog will attack you. Hopefully it won't bite your nose. <laughs> uh, what you will do? It's a very when the dog nose. comes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you just give it your arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are protected. Don't worry. Okay. You see, all these are bite bite marks, eh? mm -hmm. but it can't reach your hand. Okay. Yeah, you are well protected. Okay. 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 Thank you. been awesome and I've spent an amazing time at the Natnet Drift Kennel where we've met David who started keeping dogs as a hobby and now it has turned into a business. I did enjoy my visit and if you did hit the subscribe button and keep receiving more dog content for all of you dog lovers. I'm your host Linda Kenyatta and this is Kenya Dog TV the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Peace out.